Good evening, and welcome to the May 26th Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. <clears throat> the meeting was held at 6 p.m. in the conference room at City Hall for clarification of the agenda. The following is the official agenda of the Planning and Zoning Commission. Discussion and commission action will be limited to those on the agenda. <clears throat> this evening's agenda items are Agenda Item 1, Roll Call and Disclosure of Conflict of Interest, Ex Parte Communication, and Site Visit. Aislinn, can you give <clears throat> can you give roll call, please? Crystal Chanda? Here and I have nothing to disclose. Jill Kirkham? I'm here. I made a site visit and I have nothing else to disclose. Jeremy Marley? Here and I have nothing to disclose. Jim Huru? Here I have nothing else to disclose. Kaylee White? Here, and I have nothing else to disclose. And Richard Phillips is excused from the regular meeting this evening. Thank you. Uh, moving on to agenda item two, approval of the minutes. Commission members, if you'll look over the minutes, um, we'll make a motion. I make a motion to approve, approve the minutes. I second. Aislinn, can you call for the vote, please? Rue? Yes. Marley? Yes. Chanda? Yes. Kirkham? Yes. White? Yes. Motion. Moving on to agenda item three, preliminary plat subdivision, South Cliffs Industrial Park. Bill Isley of BBAD Investments, LLC, represented, it, represented by Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying, has submitted an application for a pre preliminary plat to develop 11.53 acres, more or less, into 13 commercial lots. The proposed subdivision is located south of the I-15 freeway, exit 67, and west of South 5th Avenue. If we could hear from the applicant at this time. Good evening, um, commissioners. My name is Brady Smith uh, with Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying 600 East Oak Street. Pocatello, Idaho, 83201, here tonight representing the applicant on this project. Um, as stated, um, we're here tonight to ask for your recommendation for approval for a 13-lot subdivision um, that's going to be known as South Cliffs Industrial Park. Um, you may remember a month or so ago you had this before you uh, for a rezone um, to the light industrial designation, which... Uh, the developer feels is a little bit more consistent with the uses that are, are likely to go there or that they're going to be trying to um, go for there in the future. Um, but um, I did want to make you aware that this, a lot of this infrastructure for what is going to be the extension of Cliffs Drive over to Cliffs Way uh, was installed many years ago. A lot of the underground utilities are already in. Um, there are going to be some additional services with the different lot configuration uh, today being much different than it was those many years ago. But um, in a nutshell, this is the, the big takeaway is it's really just putting the finishing touches on the roadway itself, um, putting down the, the hard surfacing, the curb, the gutter, the asphalt, um, and then getting everything connected all the way over. Uh, a lot of that earthwork and other things were completed, you know, uh, several years ago. And so this is just an attempt to kind of um, get that all reconciled and pulled together under a new zone designation uh, that, like I say, was approved uh, previously. So um, we do have a little bit of infrastructure that's going to be done. We, we've read through the staff report and have actually been working with staff already to kind of get some clarification on some of the memorandum items in terms of how the utilities will be served because some of the things that were installed in, in the previous years um, don't necessarily work exactly the way that we have it laid out now. So there will be a little bit of um, retrofitting, I guess maybe is a, a better way to put it. But um, other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward what we're asking for um, and we'll continue to work with staff and we don't have any uh, problems with the conditions set forth in the staff report and would just ask for your approval on this project and would be happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
Are there any questions at this time? No? Okay, if we could hear from staff, please. Um, good evening, Madam Chair, uh, Commission members. Matthew Lewis with the Planning and Development Services Department. I think all the commissioners are familiar with the location. Um, and as Brady noted, uh, there recently was a council uh, approved the rezoning from commercial general to light industrial um, on the subject property. With that, staff has reviewed the application and finds that the proposal is compliant with all applicable standards of Pocatel Municipal Code, uh, assuming all conditions contained in the staff report are met. Um, I have nothing else to add, Madam Chair, other than if there's questions, I'd be happy to answer those. Okay. This time has been set aside for questions for either the applicant or staff. Um, it is also open to commission discussion. I guess the only question, um, I guess building on previous discussion, do we want to add a condition for instead of a roundabout? Um, I guess an alternative. I don't think so. I think Merrill, well, not my decision, but I think Merrill cleared it up with showing that with that, even with that um, radius at that curve, that it is. Um, it's a good traffic flow and that it probably doesn't need to be a requirement, so. Great, then um, I'd like to make a motion to approve the application. I'll second it with the revision that um, number 17 from the staff report from, um, from Merrill, Quell, and Owen um, be striked from the conditions. That case, you would probably have to make a motion. Yep, so we'll need. Um, oh, I thought you so made a motion. Yes, but we can't amend a motion. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yes, so, you can. so we're good. Okay, so if, I guess. If he agrees. If he agrees. You agree. Yeah. If you agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree then. <laughs> um, but I guess I need to hear what you said again. Strike number 17 from the memorandum to Carl Anderson from Merrill Quill and Owen Campion about the center line need, needing to be a minimum of 185 feet. And that's from the engineering conditions? Correct. I can just say number 17. Okay. Ms. Link, can you call for the vote, please? Rue? Yes. Chanda? Yes. Kirkham? Yes. Marley? Yes. White? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> um, so moving on to agenda item four. Uh, this time has been set aside to elect chair members for the commission. Uh, keep in mind that we'll have to have a separate motion for the vote on chair, and then followed by a second, followed by a vote, and then we'll have to have a separate motion, second, and vote for vice chair as well. I move that Crystal Shanda be um, elected as the chairman of this uh, planning and zoning. Appointed. Appointed. To serve where she here. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> you got that easily. Awful if I just yeah. Right. Okay. To serve here. <laughs> um, can you call for a vote, please? Has it been set? Oh, yeah, it's been second. Yep. Turnham. Yes. Marley. Yes. Chandler. Yes. Rue. Yes. White. Yes. Motion carries to appoint or yeah to appoint Crystal Chanda as the P and Z chair. Okay. I would like to make an oh wait we should, no I would like to make a motion for Shen Q Ru to be appointed as vice chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission. Second. Mm, 
Aislinn, could you call for the vote, please? Chanda? Yes. Kirkham? Yes. Marley? Yes. Rue? Yes. White? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, will be the Vice Chair of the Planning and Zoning Commission. <laughs> I would also like to thank uh, uh, Bailey for serving as chair. So. Thank you, I appreciate that. Here, here. Okay. <laughs> um, with and Jack no Moore. other and Jack business, with no other business, uh, please let the clock, uh, or please let the minutes reflect the clock time is 6.41 and the meeting is closed. <laughs>